All the options here for Hill. Ten metres out. Almost in front of the post. Dummies to catch Collins offside, but play continues. Pirouettes to the narrow side, to Winterbottom. Skinner and Teague there as well. Set up Hill to Underwood. He's in the corner. Beautiful quick thinking by Richard Hill to vary the play, give Underwood that fractional moment of advantage to add to his tally to score in each international this season, 21 in all, and increase England's lead to 16 points after half an hour. This was great work by the scrum half, who'd uh, dumb it to go open, then next time round sets up Underwood with one man to beat and an edge advantage at the start. It's very simple, but the English scrummage is so strong that Welsh back row has to stay now. They're only just arriving now, whereas the English are there in greater numbers. And once Underwood is on a one-to-one -one situation like that, Mark Titley has no chance. Rory Underwood celebrating then his appearance as the most capped England back of all time to surpass Dave Duckham's record. Some momentum here, Wales. Jones, reverse pass, Emir now. Beats the first tackle, not that of Teague, though. And it falls to Underwood, who skips the second tackle. Chasing hard is Thorburn. Underwood goes, and they'll not stop him now. He just flies in. And from imminent danger, England break out in celebration. And Underwood's brace of tries from his own 22. And really, once he's away, nobody was going to get near him. Paul Thorburn was the only man giving chase, but he's no match for Rory Underwood. A double celebration as the crowd stand and applaud. The breakdown was here. It promised well for Wales until... And really, uh, there was no one within a shouting distance. He actually coasts here like a, an 800-metre runner waiting for the finish. Brave though Thorburn's effort was, he had no chance.